So I would like to ask now to have Mr. Mohammed Shah Farood, who uh, here, who wants to introduce his introduce his book, Party Crimes. Party Crimes, Volume One. Party Crimes, Volume Two. Okay. I have written 800 pages about party crimes in Afghanistan. I want to say you just a short story. I was 12 years in Sadara prison and Polycharchi prison. 12 years. It is not a short time. I am a victim. When I was in Sadarat, I had a KGB investigator. The first night, he asked me, are you anti-Zivitism? I told him yes. Yes, yes, Y, E, S. Very short. After that answer, four months, I was under torture, continuously torture. Dachen nach. Ask me, why are you anti-Semitism? Why? Just one question. Please write your friends. Two questions. After that, one night, another night, the Russian man came and put here a secret. Here. This is a short story I told you. Put here, uh, say, told me, please write here your friend's name. I told him, I am a student in medical faculty. I know all students, which of them you need, I write. He told, please write all your uh, answer fee. It's last it's last 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 after that, uh, they sent me in Polycharchi. Three years, three years, I was under torture in Polycharchi. I, I witnessed it, I life witness. He told, we need docu making documentation. That means graveyard. Bones is document. I am document. Why I have written this two books? Why? Because I want to say about the People's Democratic Parties of Afghanistan as criminal. Just for this, I have written two books. I have written for that, I want to say, I want to say I am witness for all torture, investigator, the Central Committee of Democratic Party, that, 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 that. And say more. This is the Tor Chair Remembrance book. It is in Persian. It is written 1985. He was one year in Aksa and three months in Qom. After Aksa, he came Qom. This nice book. He has written more than 200 people which is executed. 
This is the shortage of my the volume two my books in Dutch. He he is my brother, Sedir Musabek. He translated in Dutch this book. The the book is include thirty more than thirty hundred pages, but it is. 52. Thank you from Siddiq Mossadegh. Uh, he, yes. Thank you. With your permission, I will read a short poem from this book and some words after that. It's in that. I'm sorry. Later. Marteling. Marteling. Marteling, s'nachts werd ik gemarteld voor jou. S'morgens werd ik gemarteld voor hem. S'morgens werd ik gemarteld voor haar. S'middags werd ik gemarteld voor mezelf. Al mijn lichaam. Respect voor de zwijgzaamheid van je wonden. I feel very proud that I was given the opportunity to contribute to the translation of this book, to a selection of these two books. It's actually the documentation of a small part of a significant and enormous crime and human rights violation in the recent history of Afghanistan. This book is a collection of a few short stories, poems, an observation of the author, Mr. Fahoud. It seems very thin if you look at it. But at the same time, it presents a big value. It shows us the importance of the documentation of the committed crimes by the members of the Democratic People's Party of Afghanistan and initiated by the leaders and the secret police of that party and the ruling regime. The, par the party members and leaders try even in this country to falsify the history and discharge themselves of the committed crimes. It is the duty of the victims and survivors, we, to be the voice of those their voices have been deprived by war criminals and mass murders. In order to get the murders for the justice, we have to collect more evidence here in Afghanistan and everywhere in the world. We can also learn from the survivors of the Second World War. Even now, many decades after the Second World War, the justice seekers tries to bring the Nazi war criminals to justice. Let us be inspired by them. Thanks a lot. I thank Nelson Mandela. Says I can forgive, but I can't forget. I don't know I can forgive or not, but I can't forget. For this reason, I wrote 800 pages about. party crimes, but I want to write another the volume 3 and volume 4 because the people's democratic party crimes is too long. I write for expose the crimes. I write about crimes for not repeating <coughs> crimes in Afghanistan. You know, since 36 years, always repeated crimes in Afghanistan. Communistish, Islamitish, democratic, that, that, that. All of them is 
scribes. Thank you from US. I want to read my vote with this in Dutch, but I want to translate it in English also. Thank you. We should not forget that the, the publisher of this book is also in this uh, bias. Uh, she is Ms. Manija Nadiri. Uh, she is uh, actually the director of Shamama Publication Center in Tasri. Uh, she has published this book. We thank him and I ask you to applause for him. I think it is a very big work to conclude yes. so much uh, beautiful uh, things, painful things. Uh, the, uh, actually, the, the academic things, the reality, but also the other side of the reality, the reality of Afghan people. Uh, but I really hope that that will be a starting and the most beautiful thing that here is today. We have so many different people, also international community with us. The Dutch government, I'm sorry that I forgot your name in the beginning because I was so afraid that I couldn't read my speech correctly. <laughs> Somebody put in good English and that was not right. But I thank you very much that you are here. And also, really, thanks a lot. And there's a lady, Marika. Yeah. Uh, thank you very much for your coming here, that you are here. But the thing is, uh, for, from my background, from my knowledge, uh, uh, I really hope one thing, because we hear so many different stories, but also so many things that, that, that experience from other, lessons to learn from other places, other countries. Uh, but the most important thing is that we shouldn't bagatellize the situation of Afghanistan. Uh, because from my professional background, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm a health provider. I think if you don't break somewhere the circle of violence, it will be continued. We saw that in former Yugoslavia, we saw that uh, in many countries, Argentina, I think it should be somewhere an initiative. It makes us very uh, vulnerable, uh, yes, that's right. But it is still hope. If you are still coming after 35 years, some of you are African people, but also as the interest of the international community. I think that's important. Even we get recognition for 10%. It doesn't matter if it is the recognition is there. People should again believe on trust. They should again trust others. If it is not, we don't we don't think that Afghanistan tomorrow will be a very democratic country. It is impossible. It is not possible. But we should somewhere we can stop the the, the circle of violence. And that's, I learned a lot today. Uh, I feel also very much touched and pain. Uh, I'm, I'm very proud of my, my long note. What do you call it? Huh? Compatriots. Okay. Uh, that they were so open, honest, trust us, trust Federation of Afghan Refugee, to tell their stories, to be with us, Maybe some of them not not have been on this crime, on this, on this. They, they haven't been victims, but still, I think this is a start point of the recognition. We have this recognition, and we have the recognition from two, three, four, five beautiful. This lady from Afghanistan, she was doing her study, study on uh, Omar Omar John Said. Thank you very much for your coming young lady, and uh, Marika, I, I can't pronounce your family name, some Dutch friends, 
and you guys. Maybe together we can go on. And thank you, thank you very much. Don't expect me to conclude. The only conclusion is that almost 70 people, the only conclusion, they right, they, they, they are, they are prepared, prepared to do something. Thank you very much. Thank you. سی و شش سال از فاجعه سهر می گذرد. اما حزب دموکراتیک خلق تا هنوز نه مزرد خواهی کرده و نه به اعتراف دست زده است. جانیانی که پولیگون و گورهای دست جمعی را به وجود آوردند تا هنوز حاضر نشدند که به خاطر جنایات و خیانتهایشان در برابر قربانیان و مردم افغانستان سر تعظیم فرود آورند. مزرد بخواهند و به جنایاتشان اعتراف نمایند. قربانیان و مردم افغانستان عدالت می خواهند. ما قربانیان و بازماندگان خانواده های شهدا به خاطر جنایات حزب دموکراتیک خلق را محکوم می نماییم که جنایت و خیانت در افغانستان تکرار نگردد ما به خاطر دادخواهی می کنیم که آدم کشان و شکنجگران را محکوم کرده باشیم ما به خاطر سیمینار هاگ را در رابطه لست کشتار پنج هزار ایدامی بیگناه دایر نمودیم تا جنایتکاران خلقی و پرچمی بدانند که جنایت، نسل کشی و نقص حقوق بشر در افغانستان که به وسیله اکسا، کام، خاد و واد صورت گرفته است تا هنوز فراموش نگردیده است و ثبت تاریخ شده است. اردی به هشت ماه که می آید هر قطر خون که در رگ گل هاست یک رود بار دل ها رو و درد می شود که این ماه گویا تا و پس این صحیفه تاریخ دیباچه کتاب شقاوت آتش فشان برزخ تقویم و چطر فراز مسند نامرد می شود اردی به هشت ماه که می آید هر قطر خون که در رگ گل هاست یک رود بار دل و درد می شود که این ماه گویا تا و پس این صحیفه تاریخ دیباچه کتاب شقاوت آتش فشان برزخ تقویم و چطر فراز مسند نامرد می شود این آواز صدا و پیام تمام خانواده های قربانیان جنگ های سی و آن سال اخیر است با درود بر روان پاک شهدای افغانستان بدرود <تصفيق>